Hey guys, I have finally finished my new printable for you guys. I'm so excited about it. I've been working on it forever and it's late. It's like the week before Christmas. Um, but I finally got it finished and I'm really excited and I know I say that every time, but I am excited and I hope you guys are excited about it too. And let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Um, so what I've done is I've come up with uh, three different sizes of keepsake boxes that are printable and there also is a matching mini album that goes inside of each box. So I've only filmed one, which is this. I've only filmed how to make this box, right? Isn't that pretty? And it opens up like so, right? So all the templates, all the matte templates come in uh, in the printable. Um, the templates for the box, it's so easy to make. So I've, um, the first video will be showing you how to make this large keepsake box. Um, the medium keepsake box, you make the same way, but the small one is slightly different. But we'll get to that later. But So here's the only one I've filmed so far. So this should be up within a couple days of this video. But I wanted to show you some other uh, things. I haven't filmed the album for that Christmas um, box yet. Um, here's another one of the prototypes that I have. And um, inside is the album. This is what I make when I'm developing the printables to make sure that everything is working the way it's supposed to. So we've got the large keepsake box. And then here's the album that goes inside. It's got belly bands and flips and pockets and pull-outs and all kinds of fun, mini, uh, mini envelopes, envelopes, um, all kinds of fun stuff. So this is just a prototype, so it, just, it doesn't really have everything in it. it. just I just made sure that everything was working. So that's the only actual album that I have made with the large keepsake box mini album template. But let me show you a couple other uh, things that I've made with the large box. This one I made at Easter time for my son. And this is actually where the box idea came from. I was uh, making these for my son and his fiance for Easter. And I thought, oh, that'd be a great idea. That's what I'm going to do. So I went ahead and did a quick mock-up of some templates way back then. And then I kind of put it aside because I wanted to do the paper dream one first. So anyway, so I made him this really cool card box. See? It's really neat, right? And it's personalized. The, the numbers on here mean something. And then these... These uh, poker chips right here, they have our initials on it. Anywho, um, it's got dice feet. Super cute, right? Super cute. No album in this. He didn't, he didn't really care for an album. But what I thought I would do, do you see this paper right here? That is, um, and it's on the cover too. That is a scrapbook paper that I designed myself just for this purpose, just for this box. So I'm going to put that on my Facebook page. I'll put a link to that in the description box below. Um, if you wanted to make a card box like this for somebody in your family. Um, but it'll be free and it'll be on my Facebook page. So I thought I'd share that with you real quick. Oh! Do you know what just fell? One of my lights just fell off the table. Hold on. I'll be back. <laughs> okay. All right. All is well. I've <laughs> got that fixed up. <laughs> um, yeah, it almost hit my dog in the floor. Hey, whoops. Um, and then this, I wanted to show you this too. This is the mock-up that I made when I made the, the quick templates way back when in uh, Easter time. So this is the mock-up that I made. Here's the large box. Inside is the medium box. Hang on. <laughs> inside is the medium box, right? And then inside the medium box is the small box. So these are the three sizes right aren't they cute so they stack inside of each other if you wanted to do that um i just thought i would point that out to you kind of like the russian dolls thing um but anyway so those are the three three sizes so large medium small um let me show you let me show you the medium here's the medium box right and inside is the album let me get that out this one is small it, um, it's kind of like the stack the pages. So there's, it, the, the way you put the pages inside this album is like the stack the pages way. So um, it looks like this. And then there's um, pockets, inserts, all of that good jazz. I can't, I'm having a hard time showing you. Um, there's side pocket inserts. There's little envelopes. Of course, there's always envelopes. I love envelopes. There's tags and inserts and little pockets and big pockets and anyways, super, super easy to make. And what's good about this album is that you can use 
your large cutoff pieces when you cut your pattern paper down to go through your printer, you can use that for most of this album. The cover's a little bit bigger, but the insides you can use for most of this album if you want it to, and you can also use your 6x6 paper pads. Okay, uh, so that's the album for the medium. So, medium box, medium album. I don't know if I showed you that very well, but anywho, so there's the next size uh, down. And then here's the tiny one, a little small. Isn't this cute? Before I show you the album on the inside, I wanted to show you this. See this cute little box? This one is just printed directly onto your pattern paper. So if you needed a quick little gift box, you can't get any easier than this. So I just thought I'd share that with you. So cute. Okay, so here is the prototype for the small box. This one has a Velcro closure. And they, you don't have to put the little feet on them. You see the little feet there? I don't know if you can. You don't have to do that. I, I think it's cute. Um, so here's the album on the inside. And it is a accordion style album, right? So it opens like this, right? And then you've got these cute little tags that come out. So, so easy to make. I mean, it just doesn't... I tried to make these things as simple as possible because, you know, I don't want people to be intimidated about making a keepsake box and an album. They're both so easy to make. It's it's just awesome. I mean, you'll be surprised at how quickly you can make one of these things up. So there's the small. Um, like I said, this is the only one I've filmed so far, the large keepsake box. Isn't that paper pretty? That's going to be one of my giveaways, the uh, paper line there. Okay, so here's how they're going to be available. Everything will be linked in my Etsy shop below. In my Etsy shop. <laughs> Everything will be linked in the description box below, um, all of the listings to my Etsy shop. Um, I will also ha have the uh, YouTube playlist in the description box below. And um, let's see what else. I'll have the Facebook uh, post for that, for this scrapbook paper, the, the cards and stuff, scrapbook paper if you want. It doesn't have the wood, I don't have the wood one, but um, the only one I made was the cards. So. That'll be in the description box below. So let me show you how they're going to come. They're going to come four different ways. There's going to be a small, let's check that out, a small uh, bundle of the box and mini album. And what you get when you purchase one of these is you get the uh, pattern, the background uh, design templates. You get a whole set of those. And then you get a whole set of plain templates but the plain templates, I want to make sure everybody understands this. The plain templates, <laughs> templates, <laughs> gosh, <laughs> have the distressed edges on them. So I just wanted to point that out real quick. So you're going to be able to get them as the small size, you know, this size right here. It's the box and the mini album. You're going to be able to get it as the medium size, which is this size right here, the box and the mini album. Um, and then you're going to be able to get it in the large size, which is this right here. That is the box and the mini album. And then you're also going to be able to get them all three sizes together, all the boxes, all the mini albums, all together. So I tried to color code everything. So the small is purple, the medium is green, and the, uh, whoops, <laughs> and the large is blue. And so then the one with all the sizes is the multicolored. So it's called Keepsake Box and Mini Album Printable Templates. I can't say printable templates for some reason. I don't know. It's the strangest thing. So I'm so, so excited. So of course I got giveaways. Um, let me get uh, that together. Okay, the first thing is um, these are going to be on my Etsy shop. The whole, all four listings. Um, and there's only going to be one uh, background design per release. And that is because of the way that I had to do the bundle of all the sizes. So I can only get so much information um, in the PDFs and they can only be so large and you can only upload so many to each Etsy listing. So I had to do it a little bit differently this time and that's okay, that's fine. But um, you do get a special price on the bundle uh, because you know, you're know you getting them all three together. So you do get a, a bit of a discount for that. But um, so the first thing is you're going to get a coupon code for the next couple days. It's for two days only, and it is for 25% off everything in my Etsy shop. So it's K-E-E-P-2-5. So that's 25% off everything in my Etsy shop. So I'll show you this later because I will show you the templates a little bit closer. 
So two days only. You put that at the, when you go to check out, there'll get, be a space at the bottom for a coupon code. You enter that in and it should deduct your 25% off. Okay, so then there's gonna be, let me get my paper. I had to write it down because it's a lot. There's going to be several giveaways. There's going to be, um, let's see, one uh, winner. Oh, here's, let me tell you this first. This will, you will be able to enter into this giveaway for one month. So I'm thinking the date will be January 18th is when this will close, this giveaway will close. So, um, and the way it's going to work is anybody who buys my keepsake um, printables will be entered into win some of the giveaways and then the people that buy my big bundle of all the sizes will be entered into win all of the giveaways. So you don't, you know, you don't get excluded from the big giveaways. I hope that makes sense. So the people that just buy one of the individuals, like the large or the medium or the small, they will be entered in to win uh, two, there will be two people that win a $25 coupon code uh, from my shop. So that's pretty cool because you can buy whatever you want, $25 coupon code. So anybody who buys just one of the individual sets of keepsake boxes will be entered in to win one of those $25 coupon codes. Um, and then everybody that buys the, the um, big bundle of all the sizes, they'll also be entered in to win the $25 coupon codes. But then there's two additional big prizes. One of them is one person will win a $100 coupon code from my shop. Anything in my shop, doesn't matter. Um, and then another person will win this entire paper line of, what's it called? Sweet Peppermint. Um, yeah, Sweet Peppermint by Prima. You get the 12 by 12 paper. You get the a six by six paper pad. You get uh, chipboard and more um, embellishments, the whole pack of those. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whoops, <laughs> eight, nine pack of matching flowers. <laughs> and then you get a pack of Druzy stones which those are pretty, and then you get a pack of Say It and Crystals uh, adhesive embellishments. They look like that. So, um, not only do you win that, if you win that, you also win a $50 coupon code to my shop. So you get all of that paper line stuff plus a $50 coupon code to my shop. So that is two big giveaways and then the two smaller giveaways, the $25 coupon codes. So again, that is for one month. January 18th will be the cutoff date for that. So if you're wanting to try out my new stuff, then now's probably a good time to do it. All you have to do is buy it. You don't have to um, do anything else special. Um, let's see. And then there's one more, one last um, giveaway drawing, and that is when I, when I change the camera angle and you can see my printables, um, I always ask you guys to pick the next background design to go on the printables for the next month um, and ask you to vote. So you vote for your next favorite and I'll show you all of that, um, you know, when I change the camera view. But be sure to leave in the comments below which pattern you would like to see next and then all of you guys will be put, the one that gets the most votes will be put into a drawing and then that person that I draw out will win um, that next set of printables. They'll win the whole all sizes of the new uh, background design that'll be put on them for January. So that'll probably right be around uh, the January 18th as well. So let me go ahead and switch my camera view, camera view, <laughs> so that I can show you um, just a real quick, uh, you know, overview of what the printables entail and the new background design that I have designed. So let me switch the camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so now I'm gonna do a real quick, <laughs> A real quick flip through of the different printables really fast. So here's the small and you remember you get both the box and the mini album. Of course you get you know instructions um, and then you also get the guide 
how to, uh, what goes with what, not really how to, but what goes with what. So there's a few pages of the guide and then there is the album templates. Also a guide for the album templates. Some materials you may need. I did this, I put the, um, the cover background design here because, let me grab it, let me show you what I'm talking about. What I wanted to do was to keep them color coded. So I printed the, the traceable templates onto that purple background so that when I stick it in my workbook, which by the way, I made these exactly the same way I've made the Paper Dream one. So I'll link that video below as well. Um, but anyway, so I wanted to make sure I kept them separate so they didn't get confused. So you don't have to do that. I just did that. As you guys know, I'm a little bit OCD. So, <laughs> so anywho, so you get that as well. So here is the actual box template. So you print this out. You can, like I showed you earlier, you can print it directly onto pattern paper um, to make a real quick, simple little box. You don't have to glue feed on the back, on the bottom of it if you don't want to, but super simple to put together. Or, <clears throat> excuse me, or what you need to do is when you print this out, print this out onto cardstock, trim it out all the way around the edges, leave it intact, trim all of it out, and then um, score on all the lines. So I will show you how to do that in a video, but it's really, really, really simple. So there's a few, um, and then there's some the finishing strips, um, then there's mats inside and out because the dimensions are slightly different. So the blank page is just there for me to keep the you know the difference between the album and the box. No big deal. Um, here's the album. Here's like the um, the back and the top of the album. Let me get the little album out so you can see really quick. So this piece right here is this piece. Okay, super cute, right? So then there's the accordion pieces right there on the side, and then there is the front part of the album, which is that right there, and then the dividers that go. Um, inside there and so then there are inserts and then there are um, the mats for everything and that's all that's all there is to the small keepsake box and album super cute so there's the different ones I showed you there's that one and then here's the paper just print it right onto paper so there's the small it's so adorable I mean it's so cute I love 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 that one and then here is the medium um, let me grab that one real quick. It's this size right here. Uh, let me see. The small measures approximately. Let me give you a quick approximate approximation. <laughs> let me give you a quick approximate um, size. So the small is five and a half by three and three fourths, give or take a quarter of an inch, depending on your printer. And then the medium is. Uh, about seven and a quarter, seven and three eighths by five and three eighths, five and a quarter, give or take a quarter of an inch. It really just depends on your printer. Okay, so then you got the box and we got the album, right? So the same with this one, you get the guide, you get um, the guide for the box and you get the guide for the mini album. And then you get, Where's it at? You also get the green background, just in case you want to do your workbook the same way. And then here's the box template. And it's going to be hard to show you on an already made one. But th this is the lid and the back panel, which is this and this. And then this is the bottom and the front panel and then the side panel. So these, same thing, you want to cut it out, but leave these two pieces connected, right? Same with this. You cut this out, but leave all three pieces connected. And score and fold and crease it really good so that when you go to trace it, you can just flip those pieces up. Like here, when you crease it, uh, when you fold it and you crease it down really good, and when you go to trace it out, you've got it laid out flat, and then when you're ready to trace this line, you just flip that back and trace it. I've already shown you how to do that in the video that I recorded when I did this one. So... It's real super simple. And then there's the finishing strips for the box and inside mats and outside mats. Um, this is the top, the, the lid and the base. And then there's a blank sheet um, separating the album and the box. And then here's the album. So this is the covers and the spine for the album. There's um, a part of the cover, how you assemble your cover. The inside lining. Uh, mats, uh, more mats, oh no, here's the page. 
here's the stack the pages page that I was talking about. You, you attach this to the center spine just like you did with the stack the pages. Again, I will do videos on all of this, so don't, I don't want you guys to panic. Um, but it's so simple, super simple, quick and easy and fast to make. So this one only has two pages, so you, you just can't, this is so fast, you can't mess it up. Um, and here's the second part of the, of the pages, and then here's inserts, and then there's um, more inserts, and there's pockets and belly bands, and there's an envelope, and there's another pocket, and then there's mats. I didn't write everything on this particular book. Um, each time I do a video, you'll be able to see my workbook, is what I'm trying to say. And they're in my workbook. All the information is in my workbook. I transfer it from the guidebook onto my templates, okay? So then there's all kinds of fun stuff. Everything has mats. Um, this one can be used with your large cutoff pieces when you cut your uh, 12 by 12 down to fit through your printer. So that's the medium keepsake box and mini album. I know I'm going through these really quick, but I just wanted to show you just really, really fast. Then there is the large keepsake box, and remember, I have recorded this one already, and this one is approximately six and a half, six and five eighths, give or take a quarter of an inch by uh, eight, uh, seven and three-fourths, eight, give or take, okay? Just depends on your printer. So this one's a pretty good size uh, box, and then the album, let me grab that real quick. The al this is the album that goes inside. So let's do the box real fast. Same thing, you get um, all the important info, you get the guide, so you transfer all this information onto your templates. Um, I advise you to print these out. So you get all of that, you also get a blue background, and then here is like the box template, just like I showed you on the medium. So, um, you know, you get all the pieces, here's the, the lid, the back side, the base, the front side, and then the side panels. Um, and there's the finishing strips, and then here's all your mats for the box. Lots of them inside and out because they're different dimensions. Then I just have a blank sheet there for um, separation. And here is the pages for this mini album. Now, this mini album can only do three pages, so um, to make it exactly like this, there's only three pages. So there's one of the main base pages. You print that off three times onto your pattern paper. And then this right here is a pocket, and it's right there. Looks just like that, super cute, right? And then the second part of that pocket kind of makes it look like an envelope. So that's the second part of the pocket, which I thought was cute. And then here's another flap. So it looks like that, whoops. It looks like this right here, it's that flap. Super cute, belly band. Here's a pocket, and here's that one flap I just showed you with another belly band there. This one is envelopes. This is a portrait envelope and a landscape envelope. Let me find it real quick. So here is the, um, portrait envelope, or I'm sorry, did I have got that backwards? This is the landscape envelope. You know what, I might even have it backwards in my guidebook. Let me check. I probably did, like a big doofus. What page am I looking at? I don't even know what page I'm looking at. I have, I did that, I'm not gonna be, ha I did! No, I don't get, no, I guess it's fine. <clears throat> I don't know why I call it the, por this is the portrait and this is the landscape. I mean, literally they're meant to be, this one's meant to be this way and this one's meant to be that way. So you open it from this side. I don't know. I might have to rethink that. I might be calling them different, something different. We'll see. But just so you know, this is the portrait envelope. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. I've been so sick lately. I think I'm just losing my mind. My allergies just won't give me a rest. Okay. Um, and then here's the second part of that envelope that I just showed you, the portrait. <laughs> it's the, um, it's this part right there. So cute. Did I tell you too with the small one you can use your uh, large cutoff pieces to, to, um, to mat that one as well. And some loose tags. And then here's a little mini envelope. And I think if I've got one right here. So it looks like this. Super cute. It's all one piece. It's easy to do. And it's got its insert. And then here's the second part of that landscape envelope. Let me find it so you can see what I'm talking about. See, it's meant to go like this. So, and with it, with an insert. So, I don't know. I guess that's why I called it a landscape. I don't know. I'm a bit. That's got me bothered. Is it going to bother you guys? I don't think it will. I think it'd be fine. Okay. 
So then, what else we got? This is the insert for those two envelopes, an extra tag, another belly band. This is the side pocket insert. And it looks like this, right? Cute. I'm just using paper that I had. I've got tons of different um, paper pads. I may not have embellishments and stuff for them, but I have a whole bunch of paper. So when I make mock-ups, that's what I do. Here's the insert for the little one. And then here's a, like a loose pocket. These two pieces make a loose pocket. A couple tabs. And then here's the cover and the spine and then the mats and then the um, spine coverings to wrap around, um, you know, to wrap around the edges. That's that piece right there. And this one you want to print on the back side of whatever paper you're using, by the way. And then this is a page of just like loose tags and they're all designed to be used with the large cutoff pieces. So when you cut your paper down and you have all these extra pieces and you need some extra tags, you need some extra um, inserts and that kind of stuff, you know, grab these. Let me show you in the workbook what I'm talking about here. So you just, you just make yourself a traceable template and then you take this to your, so here's one of the large cutoff pieces, right? So you just lay that on there, trace it out, and you've got yourself an extra template. Same with this one, it goes that way. Um, these all fit directly on here perfectly. And I did that on purpose because I've got a ton of these scraps. So um, I think what I'm gonna do is I might design an album strictly to use with all of these leftover cutoff pieces, these large cutoff pieces. Um, we'll see. So uh, that's what that page is for. So if you wanted to use up all your pieces and you needed extra tags and inserts, that's what this page is for. So that's it. That's, that's, that's all the three versions. Ooh, ooh, I didn't tell you this. I done completely forgot. Okay, I forgot to tell you the background design that I come up with for this printable template. It's new and I think it's so cool. It is wood. I did a wood background design, right? Isn't that cool? I handmade that background and it also can print, be printed out in black and it also can be printed out on black cardstock. There's the brown on the black. There's the black on the black. And then I was just reminding you that it could be on pattern paper. Um, and so here's your choices. So you need to leave me your vote for which background design you want next. Um, Let's see, and I'm only going to do one background design at a time because of the way this bundle is. So you've got your choice of Distress Harlequin, Polka Dots, Collage, Doily, Grid, Checker, Text, and Music Note. So in the comments below, just uh, leave me which one is your favorite, and then a month from now, I will um, put the winning names, the one who chose the one that got the most votes. I'll put all of your all's names in a bag, draw it out, and then you win the next bundle of all the sizes of the next background design. So don't forget to do that. And just one more reminder, for the next two days, this coupon code, 25% off, everything in my shop, K-E-E-P-2-5. Um, so if you wanted to grab that now and get 25% off, it's a good idea. And don't forget, if you buy the um, keepsake printable from my shop. You will be entered into the other giveaways and all of that stuff will be in the description box below. So I'm super excited. I hope, I really, really hope you guys like this one. And if you do, please give me a thumbs up. Be sure to let me know what you think in the, just in the description box. <laughs> be sure to let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Um, all of the links that you will need will be in the description box below. And don't forget, this is the only one I've filmed so far. So keep a lookout for that. And I'm excited. I hope you guys like it. I'll see you later. Bye. I'm not liking my hair today. Hey, guys. Check out. Check out. <laughs> Check out. <laughs> Check it. Check one, two. I don't know how to start this video. Just don't. <laughs> Hello. Hello there, out in YouTube world. I'm so excited. I don't know if I should just show you or tell you or what. <laughs> um, I don't know what to tell you next. <gasps> that I've made for these albums. Like I said, there's for these keepsake box slash for these. <laughs> Bye.